His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. I've been a special guest this morning that you're going to get to know. They're brand new to His Radio. The group is called Apollo LTD. And I think we're going to guess that there's a whole theme to the group Apollo, and it has to do with space. Because the Apollo space program, right? As a solid there guess. might be. Solid there guess. might be, yeah. Yes. All right, so tell us that story. Where'd the name come from? We get this a lot. First of all, coming up with band names is horrible. I know, right? It's one of, I mean, we just had a baby, and it was easier coming up with a name for our child than it was naming a mm-hmm. band, and I've named two bands over the years. Um, so my uncle was an astronaut, so I kind of grew up in a space family. I uh, grew up around it as a kid in the 90s. We would drive down to Cape Canaveral and go watch launches and stuff. And so at an early age, space kind of got ingrained in our family's DNA a little bit. So I've always been pretty enamored by it. And when we started this band, we always just kind of thought Apollo would be a really cool name. Like m- more hearkening back to the Apollo program and mm-hmm. what it kind of meant for our country at the time and just the exploration and going somewhere and doing something that we've never done before that we thought was impossible. Just really cool thematic element to the name. And then So we were Apollo. When we were Apollo. And then our lawyer <laughs> said, you're oh, not. No. You're not Apollo. <laughs> yeah. He was like, there is no way you guys can just name your band. He's like, I don't care if you're small Apollo, tall Apollo, fat Apollo, you cannot be Apollo. He said, I don't care if you put three letters before it or three letters after it, doesn't matter. So then we literally just came up with LTD because it felt good. And Sounds it, like it. I, it was yeah. kind of, it was half a joke too. Like just to kind of like, we're like, fine, we're going to be Apollo LTD. And he was like, okay, done. And Boom. Then, Stamp of is. approval right on it. <laughs> and then Boom. that's there how it go. happens, kids. So I'm curious, because of this whole space thing, do you, are you like really boned up on your space trivia? Ooh. Oh, putting me on the spot. <laughs> oh, curious. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Uh, for Jordan. Wow. I know yeah. as much. It, it, it depends on how specific you get. But yeah, I mean, I, I may be. Okay. Oh, this is dangerous. Well, we're going to try it out. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to try it out. So this right. is this is what we call yes sa uh, or no sa for NASA. So these are like things that were, uh, uh, how would you say it, inspired by? Yeah, invented, invented by, by NASA. This okay. is fantastic. But you have to this. answer yes sa or no sa. Okay. That's, that's right. just fine. So it. was it invented by NASA? All right. Yes sa or no sa? <laughs> I love this. So here's okay, your okay. first question up. Baby formula. I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say NASA. Is it Wait, yes, no, sir? No, 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 sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most it baby was. formula includes ingredients devised by NASA. Come on, there man. it is. You're like mm-hmm. in the midst of using Well, that. I said, like, see, here's the thing. I already screwed this up because I said NASA because I, I was saying, like, yeah, NASA did it. I'm, okay. I'm ruining the game. Oh, okay, wow. so you I'm know what? We'll just we'll give nope. that to you. <laughs> Since you did say NASA, so remember, per, repeat after me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Okay. Here you go. Thank you for being polite. Okay. (laughs) Here's your second one. Okay. Memory foam. Memory foam. Yes, sir. It sure was. That's right. It was first developed in 1966 to alleviate forces, G forces, during takeoff and landing. There you go. Mm -hmm. Fascinating, huh? All right. What about the super soaker? I'm going to say no, sir. (laughs) Yeah. You are correct. It, it was invented by a former NASA engineer. Oh, okay. But not but while not he was close. in the space program. Mm-hmm. Okay. Apollo LTD with us, the group. We're boning up on their uh, NASA trivia in a yesa nosa. So was this invented by NASA? The Dust Buster. Ooh. Yesa or nosa? I am going to go. Oh, that. Nosa. You going to say nosa? Nosa. I'm going to say no, sir. Oh! Ah. (laughs) No, I mean, yes, it was developed by NASA as part of the Apollo space mission, so I feel like you guys need to know that. We need to get up on our Dustbuster. Next album title is going to be Dustbuster. All right, you got two more chances. Velcro. Yes, sir? Oh, 100%. Uh, sorry. So, no, <laughs> no, no, sir. no, sir. It's been used on missions, but it was invented by a Swiss engineer in the uh, 1940s. <laughs> so, okay, All one right. more. This is a very popular one. Okay, Tang. You know what Tang is? Yeah. Okay, Tang. I'm gonna say it's yes, just, sir. It's just a powder drink, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a powder drink. I'll go yes, sir. Okay, so both Jordan and Adam from Apollo Ltd. say that Tang was invented by NASA no. with their answer of yes, sir. 
The answer would be... Oh. 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 Guys. Mm -hmm. We, Sorry. we are dropping Jordan, the ball here. Jordan, we got we got to find a new band name. You guys yeah. work too. I love all the we 90s references all again, The Tang, the Super Soaker. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's awesome. Okay, so special treat coming up. You're going to eat space food in just a minute. Oh, awesome. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, along with LTD, Apollo LTD this morning on his radio.